My personal purpose statement, I could say, would be providing biblical hope and practical help to anyone and everyone who needs it. A call that came into our ministry because of our radio program, Hope in the Night. A woman was driving home to get her gun. She had already written her suicide letter and she was just going to get the gun. And she happened to hear some program late at night and there was some word hope and she said, there is no hope for me. And yet she remembered the phone number, 1-800-488-HOPE. And she called and I ended up talking with her for the full two hours and it was a blessing to talk with her. This is a dear woman who needed to be set free. In fact, I will say that she has been a blessing to our ministry. This woman continues to say, hope for the heart saved my life. You saved my life. I can't imagine a greater compliment. I can't imagine anything more fulfilling than to hear, because of your ministry, I am alive today. God knows those whom he will bring into your life who need hope. You may not know, but he knows. And he's very purposeful. Jeremiah 29, 11. This is the Lord speaking. He says, I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. You may not know all the words that need to be said. You may feel like you're all thumbs, but you can give that one scripture and say, I want to give something to you that actually God says, and I want you to take it personally because it's meant personally for you. Yes, there is hope for you. And as you share that hope, you can be hope for someone else who desperately needs it.